And then I saw her face Hey guys, CYHD here, and I am back with another reaction video. And this is the second last video for um, MLP Fanfic Reading Week. And as for this one, it's called uh, He'll Never Leave Me by Draconian uh, Soul, an MLP Fanfic Reading. And it's a sad one by uh, Emogak, which is the same person who made that one... Um, Rarity and Applejack shipping fanfic, and of course, um, the Something Sweet to Bite series. And, uh, and yes, this is another one by Imagak. And I'm excited to take a look at this, I've been waiting for a while, so, uh, let's jump right in! Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Alright, let's jump right in! And we got the smile song. I really, really love Gummy. He's the best gamer. No, scratch that. Best pet any pony could ask for. I remember when I got my little Gummy. I bought him from the local pet shop with my first paycheck from working at Sugar Cube Corner. Bad in a few pieces of cake, but that's not important. There were so many animals to choose from. There were rabbits and mice and those birds that mimic everything you do. Is that you, Agax, Pinkie Pie voice? Imagine two pinkies running around the place? Or maybe three? Four? Like, twenty pinkies? Now that I think about it, that would be neat! However, another pet caught my eye. A lively little gator named... Well, I'll get to that in a second. He was such a cutie! Those green scales and those large purple wondering eyes staring at me? He was good at it, too! I tried staring at it for an hour, and guess what? I won! But... He sure did put up a good fight. At that point, I knew he would be perfect for me. When I went up to the cage to greet him, I gave him a big old smile, which he returned slightly. But what I saw was kind of odd. He didn't have pearly whites. He didn't even have shoes. Yeah, <laughs> Gummy doesn't no, have any teeth. Pink! No, they weren't pink teeth. They were gums! He was a toothless alligator. That made me sad. That meant... I would never get a chance to see his toothy grin, but that was alright, because he was trying to smile, and that was good enough for me. So, after I got him out of his cage, he tried to chomp on my flank. Silly gator, didn't he know that he didn't have teeth? It didn't really hurt, it was just gummy. And that's what hit me like a snowball colliding with your face, which is really, really cold. I had a name for him, the perfect name, gummy. It was the perfect name. I also thought up of Chewy, Gaby, and Mr. Chomp a lot, but Gummy sounded more reasonable. Don't know why, it just did! Anyways, I took my new pet Gummy to the counter to buy him while he was dangling on my tail. He's a very persistent little gator, so I put the bits on the counter to purchase him. But the shop owner asked me something strange. Are you sure you want this pet? I think you'd be happier if you chose another- Lost narrator? We were- just about to take him out of the shop. Why would they take poor Gummy out of the shop? Was he sick? Were they going to give him medical attention? He didn't look sick to me. He looked rather happy. So, I couldn't understand why she was so eager to convince me not to take him home. Maybe she was an intern. That would make sense. I remember when I first worked at Sugar Cube Corner, I told a customer not to buy one of those minty double chocolate white macadamia nut chip brownies. Yummy! I ended up eating the entire batch before the customer could buy it. Granted, I lost my paycheck for a week because of that, but it was so worth it. But no matter what the guy said, I bought Gummy anyways. He shrugged and just let us go our merry way. I was so excited to have a new pet. I couldn't stop talking about it for a week. I even threw Gummy a happy first day of being my best pet ever party. There was cake and music and punch and cake and confetti and cakes. Did I mention there was cake? Gummy had yeah, you did mention there was cake. At first I thought it was because he didn't like me. In fact, I almost cried when Gummy wouldn't talk to me. I was like, why won't you talk to me, Gummy? But I soon learned that Gummy wasn't a talker. He was a listener. Every time I had a rough day, he'd sit 
Yeah, only pets can listen. They don't talk. No pony else has ever had time to listen to me before. Especially not the cakes. Oh no, don't get me wrong. I understand why Mr. and Mrs. Cake couldn't listen to me that much. They are a busy bunch after all. It is nice to have some pony to listen to you though. But hey, I got better than some pony. I got some gator. He was like my personal diary, except I didn't write into him with a pen. That would be silly. One time I told Gunny about my childhood, believe it or not, I didn't have too many friends back when I was a little filly. I was always working on the rock farm. No pony ever gave me the light of day. They would call me jerk girl, filthy filly, and even buggy. Yeah, you do remember working on that rock farm. Partly true. One time, I did eat a bug. I thought it was a gummy worm. My sister told me it was. I should really talk to her about that. But yeah, I didn't have a happy childhood, though I'm so grateful for my mama and papa. Only a few ponies know this. The cakes, my parents, of course, and Gummy. Yeah, I know Gummy isn't really a pony, but he's my little Gummy friend, and that's close enough to a pony friend for me. But Gummy isn't just a good listener, he's also a good friend. He never complains about anything I do. I could coat the house with flour, and he would just sit there and watch me enjoy myself. He's awesome like that. He even takes bubble baths with me. It's just so funny watching Gummy splash around in the soapy suds. He's such a cutie when he goes underwater. His purple eyes just wandering, bubbles popping out of his snout. I even tried to do what he did. It was fun. I actually got poop up my nose. It kind of hurt, but it was still fun. And that's the best thing about Gummy. He knows how to have a great time. Like one time we had a midweek party to celebrate another paycheck. Yeah, but he, he can actually talk in his mind. That gummy. Always the prankster. One time, he had a giant strawberry cake with cream cheese frosting and poked his head out to surprise me. And I was like, ah! When he did that, he knows how to party. And I don't mean like regular parties. I mean he knows how to party. Giant bouncy houses, cake binges, and even dance parties with my friends. Still, even though Gummy is a complete party maniac, he's a gentle soul. He never tries to attack me or snarl at me or even make an attempt to bite me. Of course, it wouldn't hurt. Well, he doesn't have any teeth. Squishy and tingly. Now that I think about it, it would kind of be fun to have Gummy bite me. I bet it would tickle. He's such a sweetie, that Gummy. I'm really happy I didn't take that silly store clerk's advice and leave Gummy there. Gummy is the best pet there is. Though, recently... He's been acting kind of strange. I don't know. He seems distant. I have to feed him his meals now because he refuses to eat them by himself. Maybe he got a little lazy over the years. Or maybe he's just all tuckered out. I wouldn't blame him. We've had like a bazillion parties in the past three months. So it wouldn't surprise me if he's all pooped out from the excess parties. So I don't mind him being a little lazy chubby cheek gator. However, I expect Gummy to be ready for Mayor Mayor's anniversary as mayor. Hear that, Gummy? You better show up! But yeah, Gummy did give me a scare. About two weeks ago, I took Gummy with me to a picnic with my friends. And when I did, it was acting all sorts of funny. Like he would topple over and not move. It startled me so much! I actually sat there pressing against his belly trying to bring air into him. I was hyperventilating so hard I could barely breathe! Thankfully, Gummy twitched and kicked and I guessed like <gasps> It was the largest gasp I've ever made in my entire life! I wonder what made him fall over like that. Maybe he was choking on something. He does try to eat big I thought seeing Twilight and Spike was the biggest gasp ever. However, Gummy isn't the only one acting strange. Recently, the kids have been looking rather sad every time they see me with Gummy. It's really weird of them to be sad about me being happy with Gummy. They even suggested that I get rid of Gummy the other day, and that it isn't healthy. Why would they want me to get rid of Gummy? What do they mean? This isn't healthy. Do they think Gummy is sick? Do they think he has rabies? That's a silly thought. I yeah, alligators would never have rabies. Before, and he's never given me rabies. I should know. I go to the doctor monthly. They say I'm squeaky clean health-wise. I mainly go for the lollipops. I even went to take Gummy to the vet to make sure he didn't have rabies, but they didn't take him in. They told me to stop coming back with him. How rude! I thought the vets were supposed to Yeah, that to could be a little bit rude. Has every pony in town gone loco in the cocoa? 
Loco and a Coco. I've been picking on Gummy, my friends of all ponies. Twilight made a very unfunny joke about him too. Remember when I nearly panicked when Gummy wasn't breathing and then he kicked? Twilight told me that she made him twitch so that I wouldn't be upset at the picnic. And that Gummy didn't make it. That wasn't funny at all. In fact, I would say that was rather mean of her. And now all my friends are looking at me like I'm in the wrong. Why is every pony picking on Gummy? It's not fair to him. My friends were never that mean to Gummy before. That just doesn't seem right. Yeah, that totally doesn't seem right. Here. What's wrong with them? Yeah, I hope they'll come through soon, too. He just sits there and listens to all of Mr. and Mrs. Cake's negativity and brushes it off. Well, he doesn't actually brush it off, but you know what I mean. Still, I can't help but feel bad for Gummy. Taking in so many bad messages from my friends and bosses, I have to do something to make him feel better. I know, I'll throw him a I appreciate you, Gummy party. It'll just be me and okay. together in a room, partying the night away. I'll make his favorite cake for him. I've always wanted to surprise Gummy with a chocolate cake with mint frosting. Mmm. Oh, and balloons. Lots and lots of balloons for Gummy to try and pop. He loves trying to chomp on balloons. Oh, that Gummy. Such a silly Billy. I hope he has enough energy for it. I will force him to have fun if he doesn't want to. But I really, really hope he parties hard for me this one. I'll make it one of the best parties I've done for him. Better than his birthday parties. And I rarely top his birthday parties. Aw, I'm so excited. But that's for another day. Hopefully a day real soon. It's late and I'm starting to get tired. Another night cuddling my favorite gator in the whole wide world. He's been real cold recently. But I guess that's just because he's cold-blooded. Doesn't matter. Yeah, very cold-blooded. I'll keep him warm. I just hope I don't wake up with dried tears again. I think that might be scaring Gummy. I honestly don't know why I keep crying in my sleep. Maybe I'm having nightmares or something. I should really talk to Mr. and Mrs. Cake about that. Hopefully I don't have such a nightmare tonight. With Gummy keeping me company, I'm sure I'll have better nights. He's a really good gator. One of the best friends I've ever had. And I'm glad to be with him. A friend to party with. A friend to talk to each day. A friend who never judges me. That's Gummy in a nutshell. My best friend in the world. Well, now I'm sleepy. I think I should get some shut-eye. Don't want to wake up cranky. Gummy wouldn't like me when I'm cranky. Night, Gummy. I love you. Well, that was a really sweet uh, fan fiction. Oh yeah, that was a uh, Kagom's uh, Pinkie Pie voice. I didn't even know that uh, Imaga can do a Pinkie Pie voice. I gotta say, that's like the first time I heard her do a Pinkie Pie voice. Sorry, I get saliva a lot in my mouth. Especially during a video. <laughs> and I gotta say, that was a... That was a really, really sweet, uh... Fanfiction rot there. <laughs> a sweet fanfiction rot there! <laughs> oh boy, um... I seriously thought that, um... That it might be a story about, um... Pinkie Pie sleeping and then just like uh, Gummy just runs off and never comes back. That I would just like tear up if I saw that happen in an animation or I hear that in a fan fiction happen. Well then, um, all right, guys. Uh, if you guys have another fanfic reading, I should check out. Tell me in the comments below. What's in you guys? Thanks for watching and ahoy!